hey hello everybody it is i your lovely ray of sunshine i am not gonna give y'all no long speech no uh long openings i'm gonna jump straight into what i'm gonna talk about it's 2019 and everybody know what the fuck they want right let me tell y'all something don't waste your time another day, another minute, another second, another hour. Don't invest it. Don't. In somebody that don't want you the way you want them. They don't want to be with you and don't want to show you that they want to be with you the way you want to be with them. Ain't no such thing as they got uh, commitment and trust issues. I'm going to tell y'all right now. that has That's, a, that's an excuse. That's a horse man's excuse. Trust issues. You could be with a man 35 years. What he gonna tell you? 50 years down the road. When he done slept with 85 other women and he done cheated on you with how many women? <clears throat> Cause I don't care what y'all say. Cheating is cheating. Whether it's emotional cheating physical cheating ain't no such thing as I didn't do nothing you did something and for a man to be cocky after he cheated let me tell y'all something you crazy as hell you crazy as hell if you let that shit break you you crazy don't let that shit break you. It ain't nothing you did wrong. And if that man really loves you, he gonna do everything within his power to prove to you that he didn't mean it and that he's sorry. Don't you for one more motherfucking second believe that it's something you did wrong. Y'all know I make these videos when I'm driving. And I'm in the midst of taking my baby to a doctor's appointment. So, um, y'all know I like to uh, keep y'all with me. Like we're family. Being that I have disowned my own. So, uh, I'm trying to make this turn here. If y'all can see. These goddamn cars flying. And if they hit my truck, it's gonna be a problem. But anyway... So yeah, don't y'all let nobody make y'all feel. I'm telling you, don't you do it. It's 2019. It's too many motherfucking people out here looking for somebody like you to do all the shit that you do great for that man. Y'all better stop. Y'all better stop that shit. Stop it. Stop it and stop it. Don't spend another year. This year is the year of letting niggas go. They don't want it, let them go. This year is the year to let them be where they want to be. We don't want to make them be anywhere that they don't want to be. And we don't want to force nothing that, don't, that they don't want. We don't want to show them that they got the baddest bitch that out of everybody that they've ever known. You know what I mean? And that they got the only bitch that everybody that they know want to take down. Want to be with. Not just on some fuck shit. Like, really want to be with. But they so dumb. They still unfulfilled. You know, because their mind is all over the place. You can give a man everything you have. And he can still be unfulfilled. So it's like, what the fuck y'all going hard for? You going to go hard in the paint to prove to this man what? What you proving? What you proving? Because you ain't the one fucking up. And you ain't the one with many fuck ups. And you ain't the one... The over friendly motherfucker. You know what I mean? And you ain't the one that every every time some shit go down, it has always been you. So this year is the year of letting motherfuckers go. And I'm gonna encourage 
everybody. This year is the year. Let go. Let's let go. This year is the year we letting go. Let go. They gonna either let go of their insecurities and they gonna check their insecurities or we gonna walk the fuck away. Because they insecurities ain't got a motherfucking thing to do with us. We didn't do it. We've proven everything we've ever was supposed to prove. We've done everything we ever was supposed to do. What more can we do? And fellas, what y'all don't realize, y'all feel like this. See, men think with their dicks and not with their brains. Women think with their heart and not with their pussies. Hood rats think with their pussies and not with their brains. See, y'all got the connection all fucked up. So let me just go ahead and break it all the way down for you so you can understand so y'all can stop being stupid. Women are like this. Fat Daddy, get out of the car, please. i kick my son out of the car. Go sign your name in. I'm coming. I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway, so let me explain this. So, hood rats, they, they just want to, I, I want this nigga so bad, I will do anything. So you are allowed to touch any hole, any crevice, any anything that they have. So men don't respect. They wouldn't know a bad bitch if it crossed their path to save their soul. And then men get a bad bitch. And when you get a bad bitch... It takes a lot to keep a bad bitch. It takes a lot to keep a bad bitch. But then you got some bad bitches that are willing to work with you. And they just want love. And they just want, you know, the return. So all you got to do is act like you got some fucking sense and want her in the form that she wants you. That's where her freak meter comes from. But men don't get that. Y'all, y'all, they, they brain goes past, oh, well, she not, she not, she, she not freaky enough and she not this enough. Well, when a nigga walking around like, you know, like, his shit don't stink. And like, he don't do shit to make that bitch feel some type of way. And then when, fellas, when y'all do shit, y'all want a bitch to shut up about it. As soon as it's over with, okay, it's over, shut up. Okay, if y'all want us to shut up about it, y'all behavior about it needs to change. Immediately, immediately, you got to go immediately into to the fix it behavior. It can't be shut up about it and then I'm going to go back into the regular old me. It does not work that way. It don't work that way. Y'all got to go into the fix it behavior because when y'all don't go into the fix it behavior, that's where the, the, the us keep bringing it up and the keep rehashing the shit come from because y'all walking around with y'all nose in the motherfucking air like y'all shit don't stink like y'all didn't just do some shit that we shouldn't even started fucking with you again in the first motherfucking place you should have been had your shit and gone because it's a waste of motherfucking time So to have your nose in the motherfucking air, y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it. Fellas, it is 
hilarious how y'all don't get how a fuck up works. You fucked up. You fucked up. I'm sorry didn't fix it. It doesn't fix it. Your behavior needs to change with the I'm sorry. Amongst all the other things that you need to do. Now you need to go in to prove that I'm sorry mode. Because y'all know how y'all are with us. Oh honey, we love you. We want you. This, that, and the other. Okay, we need to become the freak of the week, and we need to do this, and we need to do that. We have to go into proof mode. Well, this is 2019. And ladies, I don't want y'all to be scared. Y'all are scary. Don't be afraid. Make them show it. What happened to showing it? Show it. I come from the era where if anybody see this that's from the era that any of the fellas that was around when I was growing up, they used to tell me this. Baby girl, you're beautiful. Don't you ever let nobody, don't you ever let nobody make you feel like you have to anything. I came from the era of gentlemen. I came from the era of men. I came from the era of apologies. And I came from the era of show and motherfucking prove. I don't know what the fuck you new age motherfucking men is going through. I don't know. But for all my sisters that's sitting at home... And for the sake of keeping the peace, and for the sake of keeping your family that ain't a motherfucking family no way, it's one motherfucking sided, and you bitches is holding the motherfucking family together, you are the glue to the motherfucking family, kick these niggas out. They don't want to be there no motherfucking way. They want to be at Becky house. It's 2019. Get y'all shit together and get it together fast. Cause some real motherfucking shit about to happen.